Okay guys, I'm out and about and I just thought I'd do a quick video to update you on what's gone on this week because it has been a little bit of a busy one. Now I'm heading out to do some flying, as you can see I got the cord in the backpack there and I'm actually going to be flying uh, today with the Nebula uh, MIPI camera, just trying to get that review finished to give you guys my thoughts but I thought I'd also do a video and talk a bit about the news as well of what's gone on this week. Now this one is going to be handheld so this is probably one you want to listen to more than actually watch but anyway uh yeah let's talk about what's gone on okay so to talk about the news this week well there's two main things the first is the new firmware update for the fpv goggles version 2 that fixes that nasty issue of them rebooting in flight about a week and a bit ago i put out a video on this and dji reached out to me and i put a message out to you guys asking for logs as a result of you sending me those logs and passing them on to dji they were quickly able to find the issue and they've now put out a fix for it now i have been told that this fix was a direct result of the log that you guys provided and they were instrumental in actually helping them find them so i do want to thank you guys for supporting the channel and sending me that and allowing me to put that over to dji i also want to thank dji for working with me once again this is the second time they've reached out to me and we've been able to put a fix in place for the community and get a problem resolved i can't promise that will always be the case but i'm always open to working with dji or anyone else to try and get issues resolved where we can now, whilst the release notes for this update say it's only fixing that, it also appears to fix the issue in FPV drone mode on the V2s where the Imperial units weren't displaying correctly. So if you were having any of those issues, do check out the firmware and it should fix it for you. Now, I do see a lot of people asking, well, should I update to this firmware or not? And if you're an FPV user, the reality is this. There really isn't a major reason to update from 0606, which is the early release, which you can downgrade to on assistant 2 for fpv it's really only the people who are using them with the fpv drone as well as the ear units need to update because you do get those latest features with the fpv drone as well but if you are using the v2 goggles on ear units only personally i would probably recommend staying on 0606 that way you're on a stable release but i am hoping this new firmware ends up being a new stable place for the fpv community on the version 2 goggles because it has been rather messy since they've released and there's just been a number of silly bugs that we didn't see on the v1s so we're just going to have to see as far as i understand this firmware does fix those issues but we're just going to have to see what happens over the next couple of weeks now, alongside the update for the FPV goggles version 2, Cadex also put out this new camera, which is the Polar Starlight. This is a new camera for the FPV system, which is designed for night or low light use. Now, I'm not really sure how many people were asking for this, but it is nice to see another camera available for the system. Personally, I would prefer to see all of the cameras available rather than just see a new one because right now really this is the only camera you can get for it or the nebula micro or the micro camera i should say which comes with the dji ear unit as well but it is good to see these new cameras come out now i have ordered one of these and i will be talking about it when i do get it in but there is a great number of videos out there reviews on it already one by albert kim and a couple of others so do check them out if you are interested um the other interesting thing with this release is this is the first camera which is classed as licensed for using with the dji system as well now as a direct result of run cam releasing the mippy which i've been flying today or i'm going to fly today i've flown it once um they have now introduced this license and i believe the cameras are only going to work with new ear units if they are licensed now the current situation as we understand it is this current ear units will continue to work with all cameras nothing will change there but there will be new licensed ear units coming in the future which will only work with the licensed cameras so regardless of what camera you buy today you should be fine this really becomes a problem if you buy ear units moving forward once they release the licensed ones and only the licensed cameras will work my understanding is the nebula pro will work with these new ear units but the nebula micro or the nebula nano may not we don't really have any further details on it other than that i have reached out to cadex but they haven't actually replied to me we don't know if the ear units are going to have any new features or is it simply going to be that they are encrypted or licensed on the camera side of things like on the shark bite system when we do know i will let you guys know and i will put a video up to talk about it there is going to be a video coming on cameras in the next couple of weeks but i'm holding off at the moment 
until we've got this new info. My understanding as well is the units you get with them today with this Starlight camera is not encrypted. I believe it's the standard um, Vista and the standard DJI unit, depending on the kit you buy. As I said, I have ordered one and as soon as it comes in, I will let you guys know. It's a bit of a shame that we're ending up in this bit of a mixed situation with cameras and stuff, but Cadex are trying to protect their investment and protect their licensing agreement that they have with DJI. The run cam Mippy isn't the greatest threat to them and personally, I wouldn't be spending too much effort if I was Cadex on um, trying to prevent them having access because the camera is okay, but it's certainly not up there with the Nebula Pro. As I've said, I would much rather we saw availability of the other cameras and hopefully we're going to start to see them coming through in the next couple of weeks now that's pretty much all the news on the dji side of things other than those fixes now what i'm going to do now is do a bit of flying i'm going to show you guys that and then i'll wrap this video up at the end Okay, so that's five packs done. I'm not going to do the sixth because the tide is coming in and I'm running out of space to land and I don't fancy hand catching this with a set of goggles on. Um, so just some quick thoughts on the run cam and I'm going to be putting this into the, the review of the Mippy in the next couple of days. Just some observations though. A lot of jello, an awful lot of jello compared to the other cameras I've taken off it. This is my standard quad build. I've taken the DJI camera off this one and then put the Nebula, uh, sorry, the Cadex Micro, which is part of the Air Unit kit. Those two are absolutely fine, but I've put this uh, Runcam Mippy and quite a lot of jello out the door. Not really sure why. Image quality is so-so. Um, a quick roundup on that. It's not the best camera, it's not the worst. It's better than the Nebulas, but I would be trying to get one of the other cameras if you're after image quality. It's not great. It's not great, um, but it's available. And that is a situation that you might not have with some of the other cameras. So if you do need one, I'd probably pick one up, actually. It's probably worth having one, right, and putting it on the bench. Yes, it probably won't work with future air units, but if you've got plenty that you can use it on, might be worth a look. Um, that pretty much wraps up another five packs to this. I'm going to go home now and finish building the other quad as well as get on with the Spectrum video. Um, Thank you for watching. Please do hit the subscribe button if you have found it interesting. Don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. I'll have the first of the quad build videos coming up this week, which is a sort of DJI equivalent, which we're going to be doing with Ardra Pilot. There's some other um, videos coming up as well as a video on the DJI FPV system too. So I'll put that one out as well. Um, but anyway, that's it from me. I'll speak to you guys again soon.